Alright, we're back for the World Cup of NU. We're in the finals, which is huge. So if we win this, our team takes a commanding lead and we can win the entire World Championship for Team US West. And we're playing against Team Europe here. So I'm using a pretty balanced team. Uh, Pokemon like Umbreon with Wish, fat Pokemon like Piloswine, Drifblim, Encore Salazzle's cool too, Trick Rotom. Spike's Heracross is new to Gen 9. It looks like they have a grassy terrain based team. So you're gonna they're gonna try and use Twacky to get grassy terrain up, and then you're going to have Pokemon like Grassy Seed Yuxi and Grassy Seed Oricorio. Maybe a Jack Pack Gudra? I don't I don't think Gudra will run the Grassy Seed. I think these are the two Grassy Seed Pokemon, then maybe you have Copper Raja with Stealth Rock. I, I, I'm curious about the Tauros. It could be your standard Banded moveset, probably. Or maybe it could be a Setup Sweeper idea. So, early game priorities for them are going to be... Getting Terrain up, and then getting Stealth Rock up. I want to keep Encore Salazzle. I think it's good versus Pokemon like Yuxi. I want to keep Trick for a Pokemon like Oricorio, but... I want to keep Trick for a Pokemon like Oricorio, but it could have Substitute. Because Trick, uh, Trick Rotom is pretty common. We have a lot of Toxic Pokemon, which I'm happy about. So Toxic would be good versus, you know, Oricorio, which probably doesn't have Rest. I think Yuxi would have Rest. I think Heracross is a good lead into... Wacky and Copper Raja. It's a bad lead into Tauros. It is a bad lead into Tauros. I don't have a fire resist. I could Terra Rock immediately if I go Heracross into Tauros. Because what, what do I need my Terra for? That could be the idea. But that would be an early committal of the Terra. Okay, they lead Gudra. We have a high special defense, so we, we tank everything. I'm just going to knock off. Even if they Draco. I don't want to close combat, take a Spadef drop, and then faint to Draco. So I do want to get my knock off here. If it's Specs, great that we knock it off. Great. Fit 43, eject pack. 73. Now close combat does knock it out. They don't appear to have hazard control. I could spike. Close combat feels free. I mean, they could go to Oricorio. I don't think they give up Gudra now, do they? I could be Scarf Heracross. They don't even know. I want to close combat. I could be Scarf Heracross. Actually, maybe not. Do I think they're going to switch out? Even if I do think they're going to switch, do I care? Because Oricorio is not threatening to me right now. It's threatening in the future, but not now. Close combat. I do like close combat. A spike is valuable too, just racking up hazard damage on 1, 2, 3, 4 Pokemon. I'll close combat here for now. I think overall that's a good trade. There we go. Knocking out Gudra, that's good. I'm not sure if we had the Scarf Bluff or they just didn't want to risk their other Pokemon like Oricorio. I'm not sure which one it was right there. In any case, I do want to be careful about Substitute on Oricorio. Because, or even Taunt for that matter. Substitute or Taunt. Because that would shut down my Toxic Umbreon, it would shut down my Rotom. Ta taunt Oricorio is going to be a problem I have to be aware of. Because with that defense boost, Piloswan probably doesn't even take it on very well. They're going to go to Twacky. I think he would go... I'm not sure what Twacky would do here. Terrain Extender, Grassy Glide surely does not KO Rotom even with, I mean, Heracross even with the defense drop. And I, I don't have Megahorn, but you'd have to be scared of it. They go to Tauros immediately, it's Intimidate. Do I give up my Heracross? What is Heracross going to do for me long term? 
it, it yeah i don't think i need heracross anymore i'd rather scout out the i mean i wouldn't be scouting much here i wouldn't get an item reveal or anything but let's yeah i think i give up heracross i don't think it's extremely high value it's all right but at this low hp it's not high value enough okay that's like a setup variant 50 so it's bulk up trailblaze is the idea probably bulk up trailblaze stab attacks i'd have to think so terra grass stab attacks is it tauros time i mean is it driftlim time driftlim doesn't do that badly versus tauros here yeah i'm just gonna give up heracross that's fine Drift Limp should be an easy revenge kill. Great value from Heracross in the lead. We didn't get spikes up, but we're still fine. Okay. Again, the, the issue is, like, this is all window dressing. The main issue is going to be that Oricoria, which I think will very likely have taunt. We have to be in position versus that. Yuxi, not a problem, because we do have Encore, Salazzle, we ha and I believe it should have rest on Yuxi, but... That's not a problem at all. The only problem is that Oricorio. Basically, I have to keep my Pokemon in front of it. That means I have to keep Salazzle in front of Oricorio so I can talk or er, go to Thwacky. Okay. They outspeed me. I don't believe Drifloom has any more value here. They're just going to knock off. And I'll take Aftermath. Not a great trade, but... It's fine, I could trans- oh, yeah, I'll just air slash. That's fine. Take aftermath damage. Is it straight to Salazzle? I believe it is. Nothing wrong with just going hard Salazzle. Flamethrower. Sludge Bomb- Sludge Bomb's an idea for the- fishing for the poison chance, but Copper Raja just- I don't want Copper Raja to come in. I don't think it would, but you never know. Piloswine can take on Oricorio, but if it's Terrawatt, they go to Yuxi, okay. 29 only. I have to think. This is stored power. Stored power. I can encore if the Calm Mind or whatever. So if they have a psychic move, they don't damage me a lot. So I think I sludge bomb. Poison? Now Encore. It was kind of obvious. I was hoping they wouldn't fall. I mean, they would fall for it. They did. Okay. Flamethrower. 16. Flamethrower again. 13. This Pokemon has rest. It surely does. I'm very scared of Knockoff not getting the KO, which it should, right? Knockoff is... Knockoff surely gets the KO. I'm going to play it safe. Because if that's if that's, if that's a really tanky Yuxi, I might not KO. Most Yuxis I do. Okay. Okay. Now we we don't need to reveal knockoff. We'll just flamethrower. Eight percent, that's fine. Flamethrower again should be fine. Yeah, the main problem is going to be that Oricorio. We do have the Terra Dark on Salazzle. That could be our ticket out. Terra Dark, Salazzle, we Encore. Okay, they go to Copper Raja. They go to Copper Raja. Do I bail out here? What do I need my Terra for? I don't think I need it anywhere else. I want a Terra Dark out of the weakness to Earthquake. I won't need my Terra on Piloswine. I don't think I would. I won't need my Terra on Umbreon. I wouldn't need it on Rotom. Here we go. 63. Excellent. Now... I think we have something going, but, but the, the ability to taunt my trick, taunt my toxic, 
I think Piloswine can do it. I think Piloswine should be the Pokemon to take on Oricorio. We Flamethrower again. I don't believe Copperaja. Well, if Copperaja Terra is here, it, it's over. Oricorio can't beat me because Piloswine can take it on. So they can't waste the Terra here. They're going to have to maybe give up Twacky, give up Copperaja. This is looking good. But that Oricorio is going to give me a nightmare because it can it can steal a game. And that Terra type, if it's water, it's water is actually more manageable because we do have Rotom. But I think we've positioned it well. Our whole goal was to keep Salazzle in front of everything, and we've done that. So we've kept it in front of all their threats. Okay, they have to go to Thwacky here. Grassy Glide does KO Salazzle because I lost my Fire Poison. Do I want to keep Encore around? I do. But if they if they U-turn if they U-turn on a switch to you know Umbreon, for example. Hmm. How do I wanna play it? Cause Thwacky probably has taunt too. I'd have to think you're, we're talking knockoff, U-turn, glide, and then taunt or woodhammer. I'd have to think this has taunt as well. Do I go Rotom? And I could go Rotom on glide and then volt, but then the U-turn next turn, and I'm in trouble. I go Rotom, I think. Okay. Now they should be U-turning, I would think. So I want to go to Piloswine so I have a strong attack into the Oricorio. They knock off, that's fine. They have wood hammer and not taunt. So I think that's U turn. Okay. Yeah, now we, we've kind of. We want to be able to toxic the Ori Corio here. There we go. There we go. Now we don't have to play games with taunt. I think it's over. And we don't die in one hit, so we can foul play. Yeah. Excuse me? Okay, well, that was scary. But yeah, we're, we're totally fine. A crit does not knock us out, so we always wish stall here. Hurricane, so it, it never had taunt. Okay, it never had taunt from the very beginning. It didn't have taunt. And that's a win in the World Cup. So we were scared of taunt. But there was no taunt at all. I was very scared of taunt because then it stops trick, then it stops toxic. But without taunt, Umbreon walled it the whole time. Oh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. We are in the World Cup. Let me actually pull it up for you right now. So we move up to four and one and you need five to win the tournament. So we are in the finals. You can't even see that, can you? Finals, yeah. We are in the finals, and let's see if we win the tournament.